Grizzlies hosting the Pacers, and the Grizzlies are four and a half point favorites. The over under is at 247 and a half. The Pacers are plus 152 on the money line, and the Grizzlies are minus 180. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website, rawsportstalk.com, and clicking on the membership link there or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and to my stats. The Pacers are playing a back-to-back. -back. They have to fly from Indiana to Memphis. I don't know what the kind of flight that looks like. I don't think it's super far. Now, as far as lineups are concerned, it is supposed to be when this wonderful thing wants to load. Morant, Bain, Williams, Jackson, and Biombo, And for the Pacers, no one's listed yet because they play back-to-back, -back, so they usually love to hold it. Not like the NBA is great at confirming lineups anyway. They love to wait until 20 minutes before game time, and it pisses me off. Now, head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The Grizzlies are on a four-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won and covered the last four games. The favorite is 8-2 and two against the spread and 8-2 and two on the money line. The overs hit seven and three in their last ten, but the under two forty seven and a half is eight and two. They have not played each other yet this year. The Pacers are one and three in their last four. There was two hundred and sixty points, two hundred and thirty six points, two hundred and fifty. 278 points, and then 257 points. So a lot of defense being played in the Pacers games. They lost by 14, they lost by 18, they lost by 24, and then they won tonight, shockingly because I picked against them, they won by 31. For the Grizzlies, they are 1-3 in, in their last four, 221, 199, 213, and then 228. They lost by 13, they lost by 7, they lost by 19, and then they won by two. Now, with Morant being back, we get to see what the Grizzlies look like, and he is the most rested player in the league right now. There is no question about it. So I'm going to take the Grizzlies with the money line. I'm going to take the Grizzlies laying the points, and I'm going to go over just because the Pacers haven't been playing defense. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.